Hello friends and fellow landscapers. I'm again at Niffing's Nursery to showcase uh, dwarf plants. This has come into popularity in the last oh, 10 to 15 years because uh, people's yards are just small nowadays and they're looking for plants that won't be overcrowding their space. And uh, there are plenty of varieties of dwarf plants out there. Uh, and I have to mention just a few of them for you. Uh, the first one here that you're looking at is a Pittosporum nana and a Juniper procumbens nana. And as you can tell by the names, uh, they have something in common. That last word is nana, which means dwarf or small. But this first one here is a um, Juniper procumbens nana. And this is more of a ground cover. This will get maybe... 18 inches high and it spreads maybe around three feet maximum uh, bulletproof very good um, taking a lot of sun this next one here is the pittosporum or excuse me yeah pittosporum nana kind of a green on top and uh, whitish uh, underneath uh, very nice this will grow now uh, maybe three feet or so by three feet wide so let's put these down and show you some others This is called a sedge, which is a huge variety of grass-like plants. This is the Berkeley sedge, very airy. Uh, this is a, they get maybe twice as big as this, which would max it out at, uh, oh, I don't know, 16 inches and by 16 uh, wide. Berkeley sedge. Similar looking is what's called Mondo grass. And you could see here that's very, this is a little smaller, a little bit darker uh, leaf uh, than the sedge. Uh, this is about what it'll get. And this is a darker version of Mondo grass. Uh, these are all small ones too. Very a nice tropical looking on all three of these plants. Next you have what's called a philodendron xanadu. Now, common philodendrons get huge, whereas this one here uh, will get, I've seen them grow to about 24 inches high by 24 wide. Um, philodendron xanadu, very tropical looking as well. So let's put this one aside. And these, and then I'm gonna bring you a couple more uh, dwarf plants. Here is what's called a callistamin or bottle brush. Uh, the variety is called Little John and for good reason because they don't get very big. A common callistamin uh, grows into trees. Uh, this one with a little bit of trimming you can keep this at um, three feet max by three feet wide. And then lastly we have agapanthas uh, this one here, uh, this is a Peter Pan, and this is about as big as they're going to get. Probably 14 inches, and they have either uh, white or blue blooms. So this is just a few choices of the uh, dwarf plants uh, that you can pick from the nursery. And uh, you can type in or Google dwarf landscape plants and come up with a whole variety. So as I'm panning the nursery here, um, we'll see you next time and happy growing.